अभी स्पॉट लाइट ही होल्ड ऑन गोर शशि भाई सबने राम कबीर वेलकम टू द 623rd बर्थडे सेलिब्रेशंस ऑफ आवर सद्गुरु कबीर मेनी ऑफ यू नो हर्ड अबाउट आवर सद्गुरु कबीर so he has given us some guidelines on having a uh, good body good mind and to have a good body we must have good food and then good food is the one that you prepare at home so this is going to be something that we're going to try to make it so that you can enjoy the good delicious sweet that uh, helps you so it's part of it so we're going to start with a small little thing uh today so we're going to ask sarika when to uh start this so if you are ready sarika and shiv and asta are you guys ready yeah 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 are you sure i didn't yeah. hear it from the other lady are you ready yeah we're ready ah wonderful okay then uh go for it let's let's start okay sarika all yours okay ram kabir and good morning everyone ram, ram kabir uh today we're going to be making a uh, parley g magic bars um i know everybody's heard of these parley g biscuits they're one of our indian culture's favorite sweets for tea time snack time shiv how do you like to eat your parley g I like to eat it with ice cream. Okay, Asa, how about you? I like to eat it with milk. Mm -hmm. It's good with everything, right? Yeah. Good so, with everything. Good with everything. Yeah. So uh, today we're making these bars, and literally, uh, it's just a few ingredients, and it's very easy to make with kids, and it's also egg-free. Um, although there are some nuts, it's totally egg-free. So uh, we'll go ahead and start, and I hope everyone has the ingredients ready. I'll go over it again. Um, one and a half cups of crushed parley g crackers, um, and you can crush those in the blender, or you could put it in a bag and just smash it with a whirler. Okay. And then we have a uh, half a cup of melted butter, and then we're gonna have two cups or one and a half cups of chocolate chips, yeah. <laughs> and then we have one and one third cup of uh, shredded coconut, uh, flaked coconut, not fresh shredded, but it's the dried shredded coconut. And one cup of nuts, I have walnuts, and one can of uh, Eagle Brand condensed milk. Okay, and then you're gonna need a 13 by nine pan, uh, either a glass pan or aluminum pan is fine, and some cooking spray. So uh, Asta, can you tell us the first step? First, preheat the oven to 350. So if you have a glass pan, preheat the oven to 325. If you have a darker aluminum pan, go ahead and preheat to 350. So as we have a glass pan, so we're gonna do 325, okay? Okay, and I'll switch the view to a little bit uh, lower so you won't see my face, you'll hear us, but you'll see the steps that we're gonna do. So there we go, all right? Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and what are we doing now? Asa? Crush the parlay g biscuits. Okay, so if you haven't crushed your biscuits, please go ahead and crush your biscuits now. Uh, while you're doing that, we're gonna spray our pan with cooking spray. I'm gonna spray it over here. Okay. I hope it doesn't get on the face. It won't, that's why I'm doing it over here. Oh, good. Okay. okay. And then I just gently wipe it too a little bit so it's not get doesn't get too greasy. Okay, looks good. Mommy, you forgot some clothes. Oh, okay, sorry. Looks better? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and then she what shall we do next? Step two, melt the butter. So once you have your crackers crushed, you're going to go ahead and melt your butter. I don't know if you can see, but our butter is melted here. Now, um, we don't like to do a lot of dishes and we don't like to clean up a lot, right, Sheep? Do you like to help me clean up? 
I like to clean the house, but not the dishes. Oh, okay. And Asa, how about you? Do you help mommy clean up after we make stuff? Yeah. Yeah? So kids can always help up clean up too, right? So since we don't like to make a lot of dishes, we're going to pour these crumbs right into this pan instead of using a different pan. So you're just going to pour your crumbs. Okay. And now she, what shall we do with the butter? Step four. Mix the crumbs with butter in the pan and make the crust. Okay. So do you want to pour the butter into the crumbs? Gently, okay? Not that very gently. You can do it. You can do it. Pour it right in the middle. There you go. Whoa! Okay. It's like egg yolk! Okay, and then we'll put this in the sink. It's like egg yolk! And Asta, can you mix it with a spoon? So go ahead and mix all the crumbs and the butter, okay? So right now we're mixing our crumbs with the butter. And so you want to go ahead and see how there's butter there? Just mix it all. Okay. And you just want to make sure that all the crumbs are nice and wet with the butter. So Asa, I'll go ahead and continue now. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Asa did a really good job mixing everything. So since my hands are nice and clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, mix it a little bit more. And you really wanna make sure the crumbs are nice and wet with butter. And if you accidentally see like dry crumbs there, you can add a little bit more melted butter. Um, you just don't want anything dry because it's not gonna hold up very well as a crust because this is the foundation of our dessert. So now you can see all our crumbs are nice and moist with butter. So now we're going to go ahead and sheave are your hands clean? My hands are clean. Okay, we washed our hands. So we're going to make a crust. So we're going to spread this out all over. My hands are clean. Okay, then you guys can help me with this too. Let me, so you're going to even out the crumbs in the pan. Make sure there's no... Can I help? Yes, okay. Now pat it down, okay? That's how you can help too. So pat it down very evenly. And make sure it's, there's no, uh, here, she I can move this over. Make sure there's no spots that don't have crumbs. You guys are doing a fantastic pat. job. Good doggy. Pat, pat. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, now, mommy will just make sure it's a little bit more even. Um, can I go wash my hands? Yes, go ahead. I'll go wash it in the other thing. So I'm just packing it in. The kids did a great job, but you just need to um, go over it one more time. I'm back. Thanks, Sheep. And then you can see that I have a nice even layer right there. And it's nice and packed in with the butter. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands too. I can reach that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Asa, what's our next step? Is it step three? No step five. Scatter the chocolate chips. Scatter the chocolate chips. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead. We have our base for our dessert. And basically now all we're doing is we're just gonna be pour pouring our ingredients over. Like I said, this is a very easy dessert to make at home with kids. So um, we're these are our chocolate chips. Uh, some people don't like too much chocolate chips. Uh, you can substitute with white chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, uh, there's peanut butter chips. If you don't like too many, you can cut it down to one cup. We like chocolate chips, right? Can I have one? Yeah, sure. Um, they really like chocolate chips, so we're going to use the full two cups, right? So you guys go ahead and put all the chocolate chips and make sure it's everywhere even, okay? Not just one. No, do it with your hands. Don't pour it. Do it with your hands. So just sprinkle all evenly all over the crust, okay? Yeah, you could do that too.
So get the edges too. Make sure you get the edges. I can't even see a lot of stuff for the kids to set up like. That's good. I think we're gonna maybe we won't use two cups. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's save this much. So we have our chocolate chips all even. I'm just gonna touch up some of the spots that they missed. If anyone has questions, please uh put them through. Raise your hand. Okay, or raise your hand, yeah. Okay, so we have our base. Then we scatter chocolate chips. Shiva's gonna tell us what we do next. Step six. Step six. Get a coconut scatter. Coconut scatter? Yeah, make it rain? Make it rain coconut, you mean. Okay, all right. So you guys are gonna do it like this, okay? Like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our coconut. I don't know why coconut can go in color be magic bar like this. Yeah, it tastes good. I know um, some people don't like coconut. We like coconut. I don't have a substitution for those who mommy, do not like the coconut. Mommy, so, mommy oh, I don't like coconut. I don't like coconut. You're not going to have any then? Yeah, I'm not going to have any, but I suppose I'll try one after. Okay, sounds good. So it's quite a bit of coconut. Do you guys want to help or you're okay? Yeah. Let's get the, some of the edges, okay? I'm going to try to use um, a coconut. What do you think? Is it good? No? Okay. All right. What I'll continue. It's, it's a lot of coconut, but the coconut tastes really good on this. Yum. Oh. Ink. Coconut's good. Yeah. It is no, good. it's not. It's okay. not. So there's all our coconut is I'm in. Um, so there is another trick to make this taste uh, like a more Indian flair. We have the parlogy, but if you want to add uh, the crushed ilchi, you can do that. Um, however, we are not fans of ilchi, so we're going to leave it. But if you want to give it more of that Indian flavor, you can go ahead and put that on there right now. Yes. Mommy, I can't see the brown stuff that was on the bottom. Yeah, because so it's covered. Let's tell them why we can't see it. So we have our parlay G crust on the bottom. We put chocolate chips on top. Then we scatter the one and one third cup of coconut all over. Now we're gonna go and and put our nuts these scattered. Are, yeah these are our chopped what do we have here at the nuts these are chopped walnuts uh, you can use any type of nut nut you want uh, we like walnuts some people use pecans uh, roasted almonds um, you could do a mixture of it, all the nuts four or five different ones but we're just gonna stick with walnuts because that's what we had on hand so let's go ahead and put our walnuts. And these are easy to scatter because they're bigger. So again, all over the pan. All over? Mm -hmm. uh, this is scatter. Baking is not easy, she. I it's know. time consuming, right? You need to try your best to bake a sweet treat every time. Okay. And you're putting everything in one area. What we try to do is Make sure every piece of it is covered, okay? With oh, nuts. Okay. There we go. Asa, you're doing a great job. How's it going, guys? How's it looking? How's it smelling? It smells good, right? Even though we haven't baked it yet. I no, I it, smell it, it smells like the inside of the chili dips. What? Oh, like a gr it is kind of like a granola bar. Okay, so there's our nuts, right? Okay, and now what are we doing, Asa? Then bake for 20. No, not yet. Oh. We still have one. Oh, Sheev, it's your step. What's the next step? Last, pour um, condensed. condensed milk over evenly. Okay. So we'll go over the steps again for anyone that's just catching up. We put our 
crushed parley G biscuits, one and one half cup, mixed them with butter, made a nice crust on the bottom. Then we put our two, two cups or one and a half cups of chocolate chips sprinkled all over. Then we got our one and one third cup of coconut and we sprinkled that all over. Then we got our chopped walnuts and we put sprinkled that all over. Um, the last step is our condensed milk. This acts like a glue because all this stuff is loose on top. So this is gonna act like a glue and keep everything together as well as sweeten everything. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that step because the if I give it to Sheev, he might just pour it in one area, right? So I don't pour it in one area. I okay. only pour the nuts in one area. Okay. Now I know. So what we're gonna you go mean. ahead and pour this. And it's very thick, so you're gonna have to go back and forth. Look at that. It already looks like a bar, yeah. like a giant one. And I know it seems like a lot, but you are gonna have to cover the whole thing because this is what's gonna keep everything together. So don't get scared thinking that you're making everything wet. Um, it really does need this to sweeten it and to keep it all together when we cut it later. Don't you think it's gonna be too sweet? No, it'll be fine. It already looks like a bar. Don't you see it looking like a bar? So when you're baking this, all of this will seep into the bottom. Cover. Yeah, it looks more like a bar. It looks more like a bar. It's a Okay. That looks good. And then we're just gonna, I just get a spoon and kind of push everything down. Oh, that's gonna take forever. And even things out a little bit. Okay, looks good. Okay, so this is what our finished pan looks like. So, does anyone joining have any questions or? So we're gonna put this in the oven and bake for 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. It doesn't freak out. And then you can set the timer for 25 minutes. Okay, um, that's it for our baking Zoom. Did you have anything to add? Um, after the uh, bars are baked after 25 minutes, you can let them cool for about five minutes and then you can cut them into bars um, and then serve it with tea or just dessert. Uh, they're, they're really good once they're cool and they're really good when they come right out of the oven too, so. Anything else, guys? I hope you enjoy the bars when they're done. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add? Okay, that's that's it for the baking Zoom. Uh, was there any questions or anyone that joined late? Why? Why? Go ahead. What? I keep reading the uh, comments on the Facebook. A uh, lot of good things. Kid, they are enjoying the kids, the junior chefs. And uh, I didn't see many of the questions yet. Uh, but I guess uh, I'll ask questions. Uh, can you add cinnamon to any of these? Uh, yeah, you can add cinnamon. Like I said, you can add algae. Um, that gives it a nice, uh, uh, you know, Indian uh, fusion type of flair. Usually I make these bars with graham cracker crust, but today we thought we'd make it with these biscuits and see how it turns out. So Okay, so we can have cinnamon and we can also add valiari, huh? Valiari, I don't think so, Baisa. No? Okay. <laughs> no. Well, what about the part? Recipe. Do the part where she's on there? <laughs> yeah, we did. That was a part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we crushed. Yes. Well, 
if that's the case, it, it seems it's shaking. Um, quite a few people have tried it. We'll see how, uh, if they have done these things, they can uh, post their pictures. Oh, yes, yeah, please Facebook. post your pictures. You can tag us and let us know how it turns out. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close and everybody's going to enjoy uh, their uh, dessert. And uh, let's see, we will see the pictures maybe uh, end of this Kabi uh, Jayanti celebrations. By then we should have you know, quite a few pictures posted if they have tried it. Uh, okay. If not, uh, we want to see your pictures, uh, you know, how it turned up. And uh, Shiv, do you think it's going to come out okay? Yes? I think it's going to come out great. Yeah. So you're going to taste it and let us know how the coconuts are, right? I already tried the coconut. I okay. didn't like it. <laughs> Asta, are you going to taste that too? Yeah. I like oh, it. okay. We, which I one don't. was your favorite uh, part? What's your favorite part about the baking zooms? Like baking it? Mm -hmm. Baking it? Yeah. Help, oh, helping okay. put the ingredients together to make one whole sweet treat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we are kind of eager to see how it turns up. And then I'm sure some other kids may have tried uh, this. And then we'll share the pictures later on. Okay. Uh, Sarika. Uh, Shiv, Asta, on behalf of the Sri Ram Kabir Mandir, uh, Carson, and uh, Sri Ram Kabir Bhakta Samaj, we thank you and hope uh, you can continue to inspire the young chefs so they can uh, continue to have some home cooking meal or home cooked meal rather and uh, somewhat a little bit more you know healthier, less preservative and things like that. So it's good. It's a plus. So next time, uh, till we meet, uh, have a good day. Thank you so much. Happy Kabi Jayanti. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, since there were no questions, we'll wait and then we will see how many pictures we get uh, later on. And uh, those of you who have joined in, uh, don't forget to post a picture so that everybody can share and get a feel for it, how it turned up. And uh, we are hoping that uh, this will inspire some of the kids to look into the you know baking and then having more of the home cooked uh, meal so next time we'll try something different i'm sure sariga will come up with different recipes and different things for the kids to do uh again we thank you and uh, we are going to take a break and we will resume our session uh, with dr das at 1 15. so uh please do join us uh, for the uh, interesting chat based on Kahet Kabir. I'm sure it, um, we'll see you at 1.30, uh, rather 1.15, and the discussion will start at 1.30. So do log in a little bit earlier. Uh, we'll uh, end here the Zoom uh, baking session. And uh, Jitubai, if you can... Uh, yeah. Post it on it that we will uh, continue later on at uh, one fifteen. Yeah, and this we'll is California time. Okay. All the times are Pacific, so please note that we will yes. be back. SSC by Said. Thank you, Sarika Ben. Thank you, Kidos. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Ram Kabir. Ram Kabir. Bye.